Okay, as you can see, what we're going to discuss is on statistics. So, let me just try to discuss the following. Use and miss. Can you see the screen now? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Use and misuse of statistics. So, we have here the definition of what statistics is. You have, it's a branch of science that deals with the development of the methods for a more effective way of collecting, organizing, presenting, and analyzing data. Actually, um, what we did earlier, if you remember, I asked you to collect a data on the measurements for the golden person. You remember that one? So the other the other activities are supposed to be collecting data about musicians who are good at math, pero because of the pandemic, we did not do that anymore. So yun lang isang ano niyo, no? isang data collection na ginawa ninyo this time. So we ask you to organize it by putting everything in the table, if you remember that one. And then it was presented by submission and you analyze it by giving an idea whether the result is a golden golden person or it's nearly golden and down the line okay so you have an idea what what statistics is so what we have was where data collected and some numerical quantities so that's what you did no also, there are some applications of statistics, the business, education, of course, ecology, agriculture, economics, weather forecast. Um, if you remember, when we, we talk about data visualization, okay, your data visualization is actually a form of statistics. There are some definition of terms here. You have your population, sample, parameter, statistic, and variable. So when you talk about the population, it is actually the collection of things under the under consideration. So I I try to limit the um, the number of persons that you are supposed to measure last time because of the pandemic. So, katunggad, ginather nyo na data, pag iga, uh, na, there are how many of you? 30 students. So, if you gather that again and then collect the uh, 30 results, you can actually uh, try to come up with another result based on your class result. Huh? So, these are some examples of population. Water samples taken from Lake Lanao. Uh, all items cert, uh, of a certain manufactured product. So, for example, there is a manufacturer of cell phones. So, you can actually take a look at the result of the cell phones that they produce. No? All students enrolled in MSU IIT in one academic year. So, you can take all the um, those who are vaccinated and those who are not vaccinated. No? So, you can consider all the students enrolled in MSUIIT. Then from those who are vaccinated, you can again uh, try to consider those who only had first dose and those who are fully vaccinated. And from those who were not vaccinated, you can take again the result why they were not vaccinated. So you can put some certain restrictions on the data and come up with um, an analysis of your results. A sample is a portion of the population selected for analysis. Now, it's very difficult to, to, to capture the entire population. So what you do is to take a sample which will um, represent the entire population. What is a parameter? A summary of measure computed to describe characteristic of the population. So this, for example, is the averages, proportions, percentiles, and correlation coefficient so um, for example a data of your grades so you can take the average data on your grades proportions and percentiles and correlation coefficient 
So a statistic is a summary measure completed to describe a characteristic of the sample. So when you say statistic, it's just simply a summary of the measure. Here is a device where you can take a look at about population sample. So here your population, then you have your, you take from the population, you take the sample, then you use statistics to summarize these features. And then because of this uh, summary of features, then you can make an inference on the population from the sample. Uh, and you use parameters to summarize these features. Okay, so again, you it's very difficult to take the entire population. So what you do is you take a sample and from that sample, you derive your conclusion. When you say data is the basic element of statistical analysis and your variable is a characteristic of properties measured from objects, persons, or things. So when you say data and variable, we have here a sketch of that. Let me see. Wait. So you have your, for example, data items for a person. So we have here a single individual and you have, you can know uh, the data that you can collect from this individual will be the language that he speaks. For example, uh, this person speaks uh, uh, Ilocano, Tagalog, English, and say he can also speak Japanese. She can also speak Japanese. So there are how many languages that, that she knows. Then you can take a look at, at her height, uh, religion, marital status, occupation, eye color, country of birth. So if she's from the Philippines, sex, if this is a female, and age, say this is say 40 years old. So you can actually take a look at all of those data and variables. You can also have an example here of another data would be about the car. So what is the engine of this car? The number of kilometers it had, it had traveled, the year it was manufactured, number of airbags, color, etc. No? So a new model. So the major areas, we have what we call your descriptive statistics okay? and then your inferential statistics. Drawing conclusions and making decisions that would be your inferential statistics other terms we have your census i believe you had undergone census so you gather from when information is gathered from all the units in the population and then a sampling or sample survey is the process involved only part of the population issues census no so everyone is actually accounted for in the census. So a frame is a listing of all the elements of the population. What are the types of variable? We have the categorical and your numerical variable. And under numerical, we have what we call your discrete and your continuous variable. Types of variable, quantitative, discrete number of children in a family. So in the man puede siya, siya one and a half child, di ba? So, discrete. Pwede zero, pwede one. Pwede wala tayong one and a half na number of children. Okay, so that's why it's discrete. Continuous, uh, height of a person is continuous. Why? Because aside from say your, you have your five feet, you can have five, five and a half feet or 5.2 feet. Diba? So, continuous and height. It's a variable which is. Klaro na ang difference between continuous and discrete? Hello? Are you still with me? Yes, ma'am. So, yes, ma'am. Ang continuous? The variable? That is continuous variable. Give me an example na lang of a continuous variable. Wait, ma'am. Weight, yes. So aside from the height, weight is a continuous variable. Yes. Uh, types of variable, we all have. We also have your categorical. For example, your eye color. So the category can be brown, black, you know, gray, blue. So those are the categorical examples. 
levels of measurement, ratio, interval, and we have what we call your ordinal and nominal. For nominal, so sounds like name, di ba? So the lowest level of measurement, and then it has no natural order. For example, also, you can have your gender, your opinion, the marital status, the race, okay? So those are nominal. For ordinal, ordinal so like, so, sounds like order, right? So they are ordered categories and on distance between rankings. So you can make use of the Likert scale, for example, not painful, a little painful, painful, so you... You categorize it as such, no? Number one is not painful. Number four is very painful. So that's called your Likert scale. You can also have your size, your small, medium, and large, and the burn degree, and then class ranking. For interval, you have ordered categories, equal distance between values, no to zero point, data on the scale can be added or subtracted. That you cannot multiply or divide. For example, you have your temperature in Fahrenheit or Celsius or the intelligence quotient or your IQ. For ratio, the highest level, you have your ordered exact values, equal intervals, and then it has a two zero point. You know? Data can be added, subtracted, multiplied, and divided. But, katong dito ganina, sa interval, you cannot multiply or divide. So, examples are your weight, height, and your blood pressure. As for types of measurement, we have what we call your nominal, your ordinal, interval, and ratio. Then, we have the following. If um, You can consider, is it ordered? If it is yes, then is it equal space? If no, then it's terminal. If it's um equally spaced uh, then it has a true zero or no then it's ordinal then you have there down the line no? so you get ratio then you have interval so for each of the following variables indicate whether quantitative or qualitative if quantitative is it discrete or continuous so height of student skin of color Number of students who pass the final exam, gender of babies born in a hospital during a month, name of school currently enrolled, and then part two for each of the following variables indicate the level of measurement, nominal, ordinal, interval, or ratio, then body temperature in degrees Fahrenheit, so commute time, health status, age, types of surgery. Your assignment is to answer part one and part two exercise. We're in part one here would be this one. For each of the following variables, indicate whether quantitative or qualitative. Okay, so part one is part one. Brand of computer, purchased by a customer, province of breath for some born in the Philippines, price of a textbook, zip code, the number of students, class. Then you have your exercise part two. For each of the following variables, indicate the level of measurement, whether it's nominal, ordinal, interval, or ratio. Number six would be gender of household head. Okay, and down the line. Huh? So the types of data, nominal, interval, ratio. Uh, again, it was emphasized that the types of data are all nominal, ordinal, and interval, ratio. Let me see. Kailan ba yung submit? There is a... Stop recording.